emerged from the foulness of the sewers only to be met with the equally dark stench of cordite and death. Although you've saved the Kais, it is far from unharmed. Residents wander the streets dazed, holding their wounds, tending to others, observing the damage. The look in their eyes tells the story. Their illusion of safety has been shattered. You enter Paul Amzo's trade emporium, already knowing what you'll find there. The knowledge doesn't make the discovery any easier. Oh, Paul. Shit. We're gonna get him. Let's take a look what's on this drive and get him! Once again, the team gathers around Paul. But tonight, he has no more missions to offer, no advice to give. His body lies motionless on the hardwood, cooling in the night air. The ruin of his face has been hidden underneath a burlap tarp. For several minutes, nobody speaks. Finally, Dart Ridge steps forward. I think we should say something about Paul. There is another moment of silence, and Iger speaks up. I'll go. Iger brings herself to attention, stares straight ahead. Paul Amso was an important member of this team, and he supported us well. He says he said what he was going to do, and he did it. That's rare, and that's worthy of respect. She looks down at the body. There is a long pause before she speaks again. Thank you, Paul Amso, for everything. Another pause, and her story softens. I was out of position when they came for you. I couldn't save you. I'm sorry. The other shift up properly, not knowing what to say. Glory breaks the awkward moment, her voice a frosty monotone. I appreciate what Amso did for us. It's another loss, one this team can't afford. Glory's eyes sweep across the group, then they land on Amso's body. Her expression is almost possible to read. After a moment, she turns her head to look at you. Losing people is hard, no denying it. Paul was a good one and will be missed. Dietrich nods in agreement and crosses himself. Ja, he was. Goodbye, Paul. Gutse mit dir. Gingery Blitz steps forward. His hair is mussed and there's a fresh bullet hole in his jacket. He smells like smoke and blood and stale sweat. His hands tremble as he takes out takes him out of his pockets. Well, uh, I didn't know Paul as well as the rest of you, but he seemed like a good guy. I didn't want to see this happen at any rate. You okay, Blitz? It looks like you and Milat saw some action back there. Yeah. I'll live. As as if in turn, Dante lowers his head sadly and lets out a heavy sigh and closes his eyes. We miss you, Paul. Don't worry about the body. I know what to do. Be respectful, and be, but be quick. After all, it is only a shell. Ball is with Monica now. We're gonna all be with Monica soon if we don't do something. The fire ring came for us, and she'll do it again. And she doesn't care if she brings a whole entire Kais to get us. Can't argue with that, boss. While Firewing lives, the Kai's visor is at risk. Our home, our friends, everything that Monica and Paul fought to protect. They'll be all destroyed if we don't put an end to her. Come on, everyone. Let's get a look at that optical chip. I want to see what we're dealing with. Oh boy. Can I save? Is this, a, is this Can I save? Nope, can't save. Okay. Alright, let's, uh. I'm gonna quick. Hold on. I'm gonna quick save here. I wanna see what on, what's on this stupid chip. Sorry, it takes a minute to save on my end. Alright. Um. Can I. Can I. Can I. Access claim by data so that um all right optical chip you saw the optical chip into the computer's waiting chip jack on the screen Alice's office blossoms into view half a second later a real time simulation of Alice appears seed behind her mahogany desk something about you reminds you of a figure from a wax museum lifelike but dead on the inside. It greets you with a facile smell of leather. Customer, Kitty Bit. Its voice is hollow, synthetic. It's an anaton, masquerading as a living woman, one you've never met in the flesh. Account number 101257.9. Greetings, valued customer. I am an offline C 
the Muracrum of the Alice Persona. I have been included on this ship to answer any questions that you might have about your information purchase. Nifty piece of tech? Not now, Blitz. If you are ready to proceed, I will present Alice's findings. You may interrupt this presentation at any point by saying, Alice, I have a question. We're ready. Let's get this show on the road. Very well. Commencing presentation. The real Alice's voice begins to speak. All right, kitty bit. I got some good news and I've got bad news. Let's start with the good news. I found Vauclair and he is alive. Thank God. The trail to your missing doctor was a long and slippery one. The fee that you paid me barely covered my costs for the job. I sent a team into the Sox on a fact-finding mission. I bribed government officials, I greased the palms of wage slaves at megacarps all across Europe. Each step I took eliminated possibilities, drew me a little bit closer, and finally I found the place where Vauclair is being held. She makes a sweeping gesture with her right hand and the image images of the image an image of switchblades on the screen a grainy overhead photo anointed with a map coordinates you recognize it immediately this is where you will find him he is being held captive at a remote state estate called harfeld manor <sighs> you gotta be kidding me he was there the whole time glory says nothing she studies the photograph and nods all right nobody tell me i get it this is something else i missed alice i have a question you have a question, all right? Please make your inquiry now. What else turned up about the Howerfeld Manor? Seismological data and thermal imaging confirm the existence of a large hollow chamber under this state. It is my suspicion that Dr. Vauclair is being held somewhere within this substructure. If Firewing kept Vauclair trapped here for almost 20 years, she's got to have a reason for it. It takes effort and resources to lock a man away for that amount of time. So what's her end game in all this? Why not just kill him and be done with it? Malice, revenge, who knows? Remember, this was the man who shot her down. He sent her crashing into a radioactive wasteland. If somebody did that to me, I'd want to hurt him too, and I'd make it last. I think it goes deeper than that. According to Winter's DVD, Vauclair designed the experimental weapon that shot her down, and the weapon split her body from her essence. Glory glances down at her own steel and chrome arms and suppresses a shudder. If I had to guess, I'd say that she was trying to make him fix whatever he did to her. That's what makes sense to me. Good point, Glory. There's a moment of silence as the group processes Glory's suggestion. Before anyone can speak, the model cuts back in. You have another question. You said Vauclair is being held at the estate. What evidence did you turn up to support that? One of my assets at Transit's Neuronet provided me with a video feed dated 2053-1010. The feed was taken by a corporate surveillance drone. Playback commencing. The screen is filled with a grainy black and white video. You recognize the Harfeld Manor, a photograph from high above. The camera pushes in, and the image sharpens through a barred ground-level window. You can see the shape of a stooped, emaciated figure. His body shows clear sign of neglect. The figure is unmistakable. It's Vauclair, 20 years older and worse for wear. His skin hangs loose on his bones and his cheeks are hollow. There's a distinctly gray pallor to his skin. That's Vauclair, alright. What's left of him anyway? It doesn't look like they've been feeding him much. Poor bastard. Another figure steps into frame behind Vauclair, an orc. He turns his head slightly. Its skin grasp catches the light. Vauclair slowly turns to face Audran and the video feed cuts out. Do you have another question? Alright, let's get to the bad news. Very well. But if Glaclair is at Howerfeld, we've got problems. The last time we broke into the place, they took Monica out. It was a miracle any of you got out alive. Yeah, but now that we know what's down there, this time we'll be prepared. We can handle this. No, it'll be even worse this time. The first time we went in, we had the element surprise on their side. Now, they're expecting us. They're hunting us, remember? Their security team is going to be waiting for us, Rich, And that Audra ambassador is going to be waiting for us. And even if we make it past them, we have to deal with the dragon in the basement. What else can we do? Cut and run? The last time I checked, that wasn't an option either. Even if it were, I wouldn't take it. I'm not running from this. Not what they did in there tonight. Here tonight. 
none of us are glory, but Iger is right. We can't go charging in there again, not without some kind of edge. Now, Kitty Bit, to the bad news. You now know where Von Claire is, but rescue him will not be possible. Ellis, I have a question. Why the hell not? Good question, Dietrich. Good question. In the course of my investigation, I encountered something terrifying in the Matrix. It is fast, cunning, and very definitely intelligent. I'm convinced that I only escaped because it let me go. It could have killed me in a heartbeat if it wanted to. That this something that I met is protecting the Harfeld Manor, and it's going to go after anyone who gets too close to what's happening there. Alice, what did you see in there? What is going after these people? By a way of explanation, I would like to read the following document. What you're looking at is an archived forum discussion from the early days of the Shadowland BBS. Uh, it, she, uh, it isn't kidding, Chief. This discussion is dated back to 2036. That's ancient history in the Deccan community. It probably isn't even cor correct to call these guys Deckers. Hackers would be more appropriate term. When you're furnishing it over, Say, Alice, I'm done. Can we continue? All right, let's read the document. As you lead in to read, the text slowly begins to scroll up from the bottom of the, up from the, bottom of the screen. You all hear about the SK team that got crisped a few hours ago? A whole lab's worth of researchers all burned and broken beyond recognition? Ugly. At this point, who hasn't? Power spike. Got them right through their data jacks like a lightning bolt to the brain. And one in a million accents is, is what they're saying. And you believe that? Got a more possible explanation? Yes, actually, it was a cleanup operation. Color me intrigued. What were they cleaning up? A big, a secret project that Lofir didn't want anything to do with. You might have heard the rumors about it. The project was named Apex. And you lost me. Apex, clockwork? Seriously? That old line of Drek? I'm telling you, Jokers, Apex is real, or at least it was until the Wizworm pulled the plug. Come on, Clockwork. We're still decades away from a fully functional AI. You know that. Shit, fully functional. Those Apex stories have been flowing around. They're just some conspiracy nuts wet dream. Fine. Keep your heads in the sand. Some of us know the truth and we're ri when we when we read it. Okay, Clock, I'll humor you. But real me this. If Lofir had an army and an operational AI in his claws, why kill it? Do you remember what happened to most of the Echo Mirage? The circus, the crash virus killed them, fried their brains, but I don't see what that has to do with anything. With the commercial release of the CDT-1000, some security firms are working on a counter-intrusion software that could do the same, Black IC. You can look it up if you don't believe me. Whoa, scary stuff, man. Well, the goal of the Apex project was even scarier. IC waits for you to come to it. Apex wouldn't be bound to those restrictions. It could go out hunting, hit its targets when it least expects it. That's why they call it Apex. It was designed to be the Apex Predator of the digital world. And so rather than using it to its advantage, Lofir decided to kill it in its cradle? The Wizworm ain't no fool. Some things are too dangerous to play around with. How would you put that genie back in the bottle if it ever slipped out of your control? Answer? You couldn't. And then it would take over the world! Okay, this story has officially gone off the rails. I'm closing it down for the good of mankind. Alice, I'm done. There's no official records in the Sadir Cup database to support the existence of Apex. But the thing I encountered was Apex. Of that, I am certain. Just as I am certain that Apex was responsible for the death of Monica Shafir, Green Winters, Clockwork, Peregrine, and a score of other Deckers over the last 16 years. Hold up, Alice. I have a quick Hold up. Uh, Alice, I have a question. I thought they said Lofir killed Apex. They speculated as much, yes. They were wrong on that count. I do believe that Sider Cup was developing Apex as a tool for the Matrix Warfare. I am also convinced that the IT personnel who were killed were the Apex development team. But I don't think Lofir was responsible for their death. Apex killed them. That would be my guess, yes. In the turmoil surrounding Lofir's buyout of Seder Cup, a number of projects went missing. I believe Apex was appropriated by a member of Firewing's organization at this point. It was then unleashed on its own development team to silence them. Since then, it provided information control for the Firewing. 
A pet AI would explain how Firewing has managed to maintain her conspiracy and throw and avoid detection for the past two decades. Anytime anyone gets close, the AI takes them out and the scrubs records clean. So there's your bad news, Kitty Bit. While Claire is being held at the Heifeld Manor, but knowing that does you no good because you can't approach a place. I doubt you will could open the door without egg pecs egg frying you. We did last time. They were trying to protect their secrets, like Audrun said. If we hadn't gone down into the basements, they would have let us go. Apex didn't react to us until Monica attempted to force the door to the basement. And now that the cat's out of the bag, they have no reason to pull... Not to pull the big guns on us. You're right. We can't go back while Apex is in place. What's the play, Kitty Back? Kitty Bit. We can't turn back now. If Apex is standing between us and Vague Claire, we need to find a way to kill Apex. How the fuck do you kill an AI? Fucking A, boss. I'm in. I figured you would. The Dragon Slayer would say, Hey, go kill this, this, this fucking rogue AI. Did you hear that, Alice? Do you have any suggestions? The AI has a kill switch. But Alice deemed that any... In additional contact with Apex to be an unjustifiable risk. Attempting to reach the kill switch would be inadvisable. Save me the warnings. I'm gonna kill this thing. I owe Monica that much. You and me both. Tell Alice. Tell us about Apex's kill switch. Thanks to my close encounter with the AI, I was able to run a trace on it. Through this trace, I discovered the physical address of a backdoor access point of Apex Programming, an old Cider Cup research lab, long abandoned and fallen into despair. The facility is now hotly contested gang territory. I have also determined that the kill switch for the AI exists somewhere in the basement of this facility. I will provide you with a physical address. I don't like the smell of this, Chief. It's said that Apex let Alice escape. Alice, why would a Matrix Warfare AI allow you to run a trace on it? I'm afraid the answer to that question falls outside the scope of my written parameters. You have reached the end of this presentation. I have been encoded with a final message from Alice to Kitty Bit. Playback commencing. Kitty Bit, if you didn't listen to me before, listen to me now. Drop this. Stop going after Valclair. Get out of Berlin. Stay out of the Matrix. I'm telling you this for your own good. That's all I have to say. I'm going to follow my own advice. I'm out. Don't try to contact me again. So a dragon killer has a so the dragon has a killer AI in charge of security. Can't say I'm surprised, but then nothing surprised me anymore. We all know that what killed Monica, we have a name for it and we know how to kill it. That's good enough for me. We know what we have to do. We can't we can either stand around talking about it or we can do it. Agreed. We shut Apex down, we re-enter the estate, we rescue Valclair, he's the key to this whole thing. Sounds like a blunt, boss. I said, I still say that all oh, this is crazy talk, Chief. Taking on an AI isn't a bad idea. It's suicide. My voice vote is to cut and run. But you're really doing this. You want the best decker you can find for the ride, and I guess that nominates me. Woo. Alice said that the kill switch is located in some old SK facility. Assuming that the site was shut down sometime after the Apex project disappeared, it could have stood empty for years, maybe decades. She said the building was in gang territory. I will be wondering if it would be like Does Kaiser Haas was. God, I hope not. There's only one way to find out. Let's get prepped. This thing isn't going to kill itself. Can't believe I'm saying this, but you'd better bring me along. If you're going to try against go up against an AI without a Nova Hot Decker at your side, you're probably going to regret it. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Whatever's there, we'll deal with it. First, we have to find a way into the basement. And then we kill the AI that killed Monica. Damn right. As she slides the shell into her shotgun, Iger catches your eye. You did good out there defending the base. You've had our backs the entire way. Make good decisions. In this job, we work together, we die alone. True. You're right. Again. Anyway, we should t back to it. We got an AI to take out after all. Keep it. Do me a favor and keep your eyes open on this one. We're walking into unknown territory. It makes me a little uneasy. Don't worry. I got your back. I know you do. And I've got yours. You've more than earned it. Ah, uh, stop it. You're making my mascara run. 
I have that effect on people sometimes. Come on, you two. We've got the job to get ready for. Dante, are you alright? Are you a hellhound? So, Kitty Bit, uh, Dante was helpful out there, but I am a bit concerned about his uh, ability to petrify people that he doesn't like and rend their claws from to their flesh, tooth, and claw. Yeah, that kind of bothers me. He's not a dumber dog, but by a log, is he possessed? I assume you've checked his aura and discovered he's part hellhound. Monica trained him for months to be combat ready. We've had a hellhound in this house, and Monica didn't tell us for months. Kitty Bit has him under control. Dante performed well in the field. Followed commands flawlessly. I have no concerns. Welcome to the team, Dante! Iger, how you feeling? Alright. Where's Glory? Glory! Glory! Hi, Glory. You okay? All right. Oh, we got we got things to do. All right. We either can do Yane's ability that reloads all her equipment and zero AP, ooh, or gains the ability to target two enemies in one action. Ah, speed root. Nope, nope, nope. Speed root lower on you, and then on you. Um, what's this do? Uh, subsequent rounds, five HP damage, one in three rounds, increasing damage, but. Ah, we can do that. Alright, and then you... Uh... Glory carries a special Warhawk revolver with her 14 damage, or carries it on each mission, which brings down... We have a million of those! 100 HP, 50... Ah, we have a million of those, we're fine. Alright, and Blitz... Augmented Decking. Or... No, it reduces storm by two. Now we could do that. Well, will we need that? I will be around. We'll be fine. Confirm. Alright. Can we save? Can I save? I get- Oh! Nine points! Nine points! I get nine points! I get nine points! I get fighter, spend that karma. Can I get it? Can I get the AP? Can I get the AP? I got the AP! Damn it! Damn it! So close yet so far. Alright, fine. What does this do? Uh, fine. Wait. I spent it. I spent it! Confirm. Alright. Wait. It, I, I said confirm. It's confirmed. Oh, now it's confirmed. All right, there we go. All right, quick save. I think we bought everything. How much money do I have? I spent a lot of money, guys. Like, a ton of money. How much money do I have? Tell me how much money I have. I have... Yep, I've, I spent all the money. All the money has been spent. Blitz, how you doing? My bits buddy friend. All right, talk to you later, Blitz. All right, let's, uh, let's go this way. I'm ready to take you on, motherfucking dragon! You got anything I can have before we leave? Maybe we should do one last round. That attack was terrible, Kitty Bit. So much death. I had not killed since I retired from running into shadows. Not until today. But you're not here to listen to me. Yeah, g g give me, give me stuff. All right, give me, give me stuff. Do we, do we have stuff? Fuck. My. Life. Fuck my life. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> can I... Can I sell anything? Fuck my life. Fuck my life. Fuck my life. Fuck- Yeah, fuck my life. I can't afford those drones. I, f I spent it on on cyberware. 
Ah, uh, I'm so disappointed. I might actually go back and redo everything. Oh, I gotta think about this, guys. I'll be back.